that's the dhamma today we are going to answer this question why do we add i max is equal to one to the extended properties of excel connection manager so let's uh, go to the uh, one of the folder and i have a file for you uh, that is an excel file and ids are one two three four and then we have rb that uh, stands for robert and then six seven eight and then we have aj that's edward john ach emily christie and do, if you see these uh, ids are mixed so we uh, the company started with id numbers and then they converted to the uh, numeric uh, sorry the characters and then uh, maybe eventually this started alphanumeric so we have mixed the type of uh, uh, values here for the ID the next column is uh, name and uh, that is the uh, characters uh, or string uh, values so let's save this one and now read uh, these uh, columns or data from sheet 1 by using Excel uh, connection manager in the SSIS package so I'm here in the uh, one of the solution uh, and I'm going to create uh, a package I already have one package I can use that one and uh, now what I need I need a data flow task uh, so I can read the data from an Excel let me bring the data flow task here so I have a data flow here double click now we need a Excel source bring Excel source here let's make a connection to the file new browse to the file Excel source file uh, it has the columns uh, on the first row and then uh, it is uh, Microsoft Excel 2007 version okay and now select uh, the sheet so it is sheet 1 and here on the columns uh, um, select the columns what we need and hover your mouse here so what we read here it is uh, the ID is read as a double precision uh, uh, float that's what it is read right now and the uh, name is read at DT WSTR uni Unicode st uh, string that's the NVAR car so uh, th this is the data type that's read by the Excel connection manager from this file so hit OK now bring the multicast here so we can see the data while uh, we execute our uh, SSIS package let me bring multicast here we are not loading to any fi file or uh, desk, uh, table right now we just want to take a look at how the data will be read from the Excel source. Now run the SSIS package. And what we see here, as I was showing you, the IUD was read as a double precision float. So any value that was mixed, um, alphanumeric values, those, were re those are read as a null and uh, it decided okay id is uh, a number it's not uh, alphanumeric or a string uh, it uh, defined them uh, as a number so that's why wherever it could not convert it it uh, gave us uh, the null values for that we can uh, change that one in these scenarios uh, where you you know that uh, your values will be alphanumeric uh, you can set the property i max is equal to one uh, that will make sure uh, this column will be read as a string so uh, click on uh, Excel connection manager go to properties and then here in the connection string you need to go to the extended properties all the way end and here right after this one you write IMAX is equal to 1 and then hit enter once you hit enter you will see a warning or maybe a cross sign here so you have to refresh excel source here double click here and now it is telling us okay the output metadata of this column is a chained so it was uh, what it was it was uh, double precision float now it will be string so let's uh, hit yes now go to columns and if we hover our mouse here we see this is converted to unicode string dtwstr so it is n worker now so hit ok now run our SSIS package and it should be read correctly so what we see here in the ID now it read the value those were alphanumeric or even just characters so now this uh, with the property setting IMAX is equal to 1 uh, on the connection manager we are making sure this column will be read as uh, 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 string instead of just uh, read as a uh, you know, float or uh, integer 
so that's how we can force our connection manager to read some columns as alphanumeric if we are sure our data in those files or columns will be coming as string values thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in next video